Hi, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to represent a vector with a straight line. First of all, you need to understand what directions you need to move your point in. The number at the top of the vector will tell you whether you move the point left or right. If it's a negative number, you move it to the left. If it's positive, you move it to the right. The bottom number of the vector will tell you if you move the point down or up. If it's negative, you move the point down. If it's positive, you move the point up. So let's look at the first example. So I've got to re represent minus 4, 3 as a straight line. So let's look at the number at the top first of all. This is the across number. Since it's minus 4, we're going to move the point for left. And the bottom number is positive 3, so this means we move the point 3 up. So pick a point on your page, let's go with this one here. So we've got to move this point 4 left, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 3 up, 1, 2, 3. So if we just connect these two points up with a straight line and the final thing that we need to do is put an arrow on the line to say which way we've moved the point. So we started here and we finished here so the arrow will be going upwards like that. So let's move on to example 2. So we've got to represent 5 minus 2 on squared paper again as a straight line. So Let's have a look at the top number first of all. So this top number is positive. So this means move it 5 to the right. And the bottom number of the vector is negative. So this means we've got to move the point 2 squares down. So again if we pick a point on the page. So we've got to move this point 5 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 and then 2 squares down, 1, 2. So again if we just join the two points up with a straight line and we started here and we finished here so the arrow will go downwards. Uh, if you like this video make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.